In this breakout session, we are going to walk through the BricsCAD mechanical design for manufacture and assembly workflow. By integrating design for manufacture and assembly studies into BricsCAD mechanical, our users can enhance efficiency by identifying cost-effective design changes early, reduce manufacturing complexities, minimize assembly time, and ultimately optimize product manufacturability and assembly processes. We are going to look at an industrial pipeline shutoff module, a complex 3D assembly incorporating various sub-assemblies and designed for large diameter pipelines. Let's see how the BricsCAD Mechanical V25 DFMA toolkit can optimize and validate the shutoff module. We prepare for a DFMA study by using the BM sequence tool. With its new user-friendly interface and enhanced efficiency, this tool sequences an assembly with a minimum of user input. We begin by creating a new step, made simple with an add step button at the top of the panel. Select the components required in the sequence step. In this first step, we are selecting the actuator control accessories panel and components. The sequence being created here will allow us to inspect how the control system will interact with the structure and piping of the shutoff module. Now we move into the inspection phase of the workflow. We run the BM assembly inspect command. Near the top of the panel, we have the sequence to inspect drop down menu. Here we can select any of the sequences created and run studies on them. Now that we have selected a sequence to inspect, we need to create an inspection routine. A new feature to inspection routines is the manage routines dialog. This allows you to quickly view the criteria of each inspection routine and the quick import and export of existing routines. The first study we're going to conduct is with the new pass clearance tool. As an evolution of the previous global translation rule, this feature checks for the free motion of parts in any direction when assembling or disassembling. This ensures precision and accuracy in your DFMA studies. The results of the path clearance inspection are displayed in a simple, easy format, color-coded to the acceptance range created in the inspection routine. We can see the path of each component in the assembly sequence and how they interact with the pipeline and structure. With these results, informed decisions can be made on refining assembly sequences which optimize the assembly process and the ability to identify modifications or redesigns prior to manufacture. We are now going to conduct a tool range of motion study on the fasteners that connect the valve to the actuator mounting kit. The enhanced tool library in BricsCAD Mechanical V25 creates a more comprehensive and accurate study that can be performed directly on the platform without the need for third-party tools. Mapping the correct tool to the fastener is easy. Simply select the required tool from the drop-down and map this to one of the fastener's unique identifying parameters. Once mapped, we now choose the acceptance criteria for this inspection routine. With the assembly sequence and inspection routine set, we can now run the study. The results show that the fasteners we mapped for study in the inspection routine all have a good range of motion. The result is a more precise and realistic tool range of motion study that allows you to really understand how your assembly will come together in the physical world. The last study in this workflow demo is gravitational stability. Gravitational stability is to verify whether the component would be gravitationally stable before fixing the fastener. 
It's mostly for ergonomic reasons. If it is stable, even without fasteners, the assembly person can use both hands to pick a fastener and a tool. With a sequence to inspect created, we now need an inspection routine. In the Routine Manager dialog, we can visually confirm which studies are being conducted. We can access the Routine Editor from here, where we can set parameters for the Gravitational Stability Study. We now run the study. The results of the study show that both the solenoid and air filter regulator are unstable in the fault criteria. This means they would require being held in position while installing. If the panel is reorientated and its study reran, we can see that the results are all stable, except for the tilt criteria in the air filter regulator. These results suggest that it's best to assemble the components of the accessory panel prior to attaching to the actuator. Bricks CAD Mechanical V25 offers an advanced and comprehensive suite of DFMA tools that are designed to optimize and validate complex 3D assemblies such as the industrial pipeline shut-off module we explored today. The enhanced features of V25, including the expanded assembly inspection methods, the user-friendly BM sequence panel, and the expanded standard tool library, all contribute to a more efficient and effective design process. The new path clearance tool, the enhanced tool library, and the gravitational stability study all provide valuable insights into the assembly process. Bricks CAD Mechanical V25 is where smart meets easy. It not only simplifies the complex process of design optimization, but also ensures precision, accuracy, and efficiency in your DFMA process. By choosing Bricks CAD Mechanical V25, you are choosing a tool that will enhance your design process, reduce costs, and ultimately lead to a more efficient and effective product. See what's new in BricsCAD Mechanical V25 and fast and familiar 2D design and drafting breakouts.